Welcome back to the Jeremiah Show. This is my favorite uh, right now on the album, um, One Night at Big Rock. Uh, this is Patchouli Boy. I love this line. Uh, and, I, and I could keep going, but I'm not going to, I always hate people to quote the lyrics and I just want you to listen to them. But I love this line. I walk beside you on the ancient ocean floor. I don't yeah. know, oh, you just gave me a chill. It's yeah. such a great line. You're such a great lyricist. Well, if you've ever driven through the desert before, and it just occurred to me one time. Oh, that's what that refers to. I used to live in in Glendale, and sometimes when I was on my way out to the desert, instead of hopping on the 10, I'd uh, go up um, Angeles Crest mm -hmm. uh, through Wrightwood there. And then when you come through Wrightwood and down into the desert on the other side where the 10 and the 15 meet, there's all these rock formations. And mm -hmm. if you look at them, like it's just flat, flat, flat desert. And then there's these crazy rock formations and you can see the strata. And I remember looking at it one time and going, this was the bottom of the ocean one time, you know? And it's like, it was just so obvious, you know, to me in that moment. And also, you know, even out by Rip, um, Giant Rock because they have what they call the rim rock, right? And they look mm -hmm. like, these um i don't know it, it it's a, i don't know how those rock formations could have happened on their own they must have been you know ocean currents and stuff like that putting them together like that so you know <laughs> it's incredible i know they did a lot of the they filmed a lot of star trek out there in those, around those rocks remember that yeah i'm not surprised <laughs> yeah because it is crazy it's like yeah. it came from astrid spaceship <laughs> Okay, I got a final question for you. I have so many more, but uh, we'll have to save that for another time. Okay. You know the saying that you uh, that you we all get what we need. You know that we're all going to get what we need, just what we need. Maybe we, maybe we want more, but we get what we need. And mm -hmm. when you look back at your career and your life time so far, do you think that you've had everything that you needed? No regrets. No um, regrets. You know, I, I, I think that I always found things that I wasn't looking for. And I think that is the spice of life is the surprise. So, yeah, yeah. absolutely. You get, you get some things that you don't think you need to <laughs> come along, right? Uh, well, then you know, right? <laughs> yeah. If that happens, Astrid, then you know. <laughs> uh, incredible album. I can't wait for the vinyl. I got to get a copy of that when that comes out. You can uh, pre-order it, apparently. You go to the website. Yep. Asterid, uh, young Asterid young dot rocks. Dot rocks you can buy. It. Yeah. Okay. Dot rocks. I, 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 I like followed a link to Astrid. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. You can you get it on astridyoung.net too on the shop. Yeah. Okay. So uh, anything you want to promote? Anything? Any upcoming shows? Any uh, anything besides the album, which is um, enough? I got a couple little shows, but they're you know, I'm not going to say inconsequential, but you know, nothing, nothing. Um, earth shattering uh you know mostly what i'm just focusing on is is uh the vinyl of one night at giant rock that's going to be coming out next and the seven inch single of lay me down and patchouli boy and then there's going to be several more seven inch, inch singles leading up to the lp of how the beautiful mm -hmm. getaway murder mm -hmm. and uh so it's going to be a full year of vinyl for me um i'm putting most of my efforts into that side of of the medium as opposed to uh streaming not to say that you won't be able to stream the the stuff but uh i i think i'm probably going to hold back on the streaming of the new stuff until until the vinyl's out and and circulating because i really it would be great if people could experience it that way yeah well uh, you know i'll continue to play if you if you give me permission i'll continue to play songs from the album and promote it i, I just really love this album it's, thank you uh, good i would really, love that really great piece of work there and congratulations i didn't promote this uh, well enough i should have been telling you this whole time we're gonna we're about to hear how the beautiful get away with murder now am i wrong is it has this never been played on radio before or do we get do it's we never get been played on radio and it's actually not it's it's not in its final form and it hasn't been mastered so it's uh it's you you're kind of getting a, a preview it's pretty close to being done but i'm still pretty proud of it and it's freaking awesome yeah it's it's a great song and wow that's even you know what that's actually even cooler we, the listeners get something that is not the final version so they get yeah. kind of a sneak peek a little special 
Yeah. And it's, it's going to be different when it comes out. I mean, I've done um, a couple of little tag vocals on it and stuff like that. And obviously, you know, once it's mastered, it's probably going to be a little bit more. You You're know. good at uh, teasing <laughs> us. You're good at teasing us for, <laughs> you've got to keep listening because the song will evolve and uh, you get to, you get to hear the first version here. Uh, pretty close to master, pretty close to finish, but not all the way. And it's still great. How the beautiful getaway with murder after young. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you. Next time, next time you come on, we're going to drink some wine and talk about wine. Yeah. Um, okay. Thank you so much. Communicate, but listen more and evolve. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day.